One of the mysteries surrounding Osama bin Laden's life and death, one of the many as yet unanswered questions that persists about him, is how was it that the United States' most wanted fugitive managed to live in a million-dollar compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, a thousand yards or so from a Pakistani military academy? And not just any old military academy, but what the New York Times calls Pakistan's equivalent of West Point. The prospect that Osama bin Laden barely took the trouble of hiding in plain sight while he was living in Pakistan naturally led to speculation about what exactly Pakistan knew about him, what Pakistani officials knew about bin Laden, whether they were ever as serious as they said they were about arresting him. Did they know where Osama bin Laden was? Did they decide not to share that knowledge with the United States? Was Pakistan protecting him? The aftermath of the U.S. raid that killed bin Laden in Pakistan has led to a deep and deepening mistrust between our two countries. And into our murky, frenemy relationship with Pakistan, which is suffused with suspicion and competing interests, into that fraught little ball of international anxiety, walks this guy. This guy is the founder of an Islamic militant group called lashkar e taiba If that name sounds familiar to you, it's because lashkar e taiba is the group that's accused of orchestrating the horrific terrorist attacks in Mumbai that killed 166 people in 2008, including six Americans. On Monday, the State Department put a $10 million bounty on him, a $10 million reward for anybody who has information leading to his arrest and conviction. There it is right there on the, uh, on the State, there it is, State Department's website, Rewards for Justice, $10 million for information leading to his arrest or conviction. The United States wants Hafiz Saeed apprehended stat. Well, this week, Hafiz Saeed responded to the U.S. government's bounty on his head by holding a press conference? To be honest, I'm surprised that America doesn't know where I am. These threats, putting money on my head to help my arrest, are for people hiding in mountains and caves, and no one knows about them. But, with the grace of God, I am here, in front of you. And tomorrow, I will be in Lahore, and will release a schedule for the day after tomorrow so America can contact me whenever it wants to. I'd like to ask the U.S. State Department why they offer this bounty to other people. Why don't they give it to me? I can tell them my whereabouts on a daily basis and be available on my phone and addressing large public rallies daily. Okay, it's not just that this guy held a freaking press conference two days after the U.S. State Department put a $10 million bounty on his head. Uh, it is also the place where he held that press conference. He held that press conference in a place called Rawalpindi in Pakistan. Rawalpindi is what they call a garrison city. It's where the Pakistani military has its headquarters. So Osama bin Laden's house was just outside the gates of Pakistan's West Point. And the guy wanted for the Mumbai bombing with a new $10 million American bounty on his head, he's holding press conferences outside the rough equivalent of Pakistan's Pentagon. The State Department's spokesperson, Victoria Newland, was asked this week about the bounty uh, and whether our dear friends in the Pakistani government and the Pakistani military really are on board with us on this one. As he lives more or less openly in, uh, in Pakistan, has there been communication with the Pakistani government, the Pakistani authorities seeking for his arrest? The government of Pakistan has regularly, in our conversations with them, pledged its cooperation in the investigations, we fully expect that it will follow through on those commitments. They've pledged their cooperation in the investigations. We fully expect that they will follow through on those commitments. But in the meantime, we're going to keep putting multi-million dollar bounties on the people who the United States believes are the most wanted people on Earth. And those people will hide in plain sight right under the noses of our dear Pakistani allies. You know that concept of friends with benefits? What's the opposite of that? 